Hello and welcome to another episode of Making Songbringer. Apologies to anyone who normally watches the live stream. It's <clears throat> been quite a crunch past couple of weeks just getting the game prepared for being launched on PlayStation and Xbox as well as Steam. Um, so just getting all that to integrate it and code merging and all the stuff that kind of goes along with that, you know, the first first build after doing that code merge and things like that. So anyways, it's been a real, real busy week, two weeks, three weeks, or whatever it's been. But anyways, um, so it, it might be a while before I can get back to doing normal streams of, you know, three to five times a week or so. Uh, but anyways, I'd like to at least get a video in here, here and there. Um, this time I'm just going to record a little video off stream. What I'm working on today is my Trello list. I am finally get, got that thing organized. Um and cleaned up and reprioritized and sorted and all that kind of stuff. So the Trello list is shorter than it's ever been, which is freaking incredible. It's like, what? It's finally, my list is getting shorter, which is really, really cool. Um, but what I'm working on now today has been refining bosses and I'm just gonna get to the rest of my Trello list, which is a lot of little miscellaneous items. You can see this boss now has, this acid boss has this new um, attack where he basically, um, sucks you inwards towards to all this sand starts swirling and he, he basically just draws you inward like that and get drawn in towards the poison sand and it's easy to get poisoned that way so um he has a few less there's a few less of these like little critters along with him these guys are called zerbs there's a few less of those zerbs because there was just way too many zerbs before um and yeah, now he's got this little attack where he can suck you inward. And also while he's coming up out of the ground like that, he can also suck you inwards towards the same bit too. So he's, he's challenging, but in a better way than before. Before the challenge was a little bit too, uh, you know, I don't know, easy? What's the, what's the word, the right word for that? I don't know. The challenge is just a little bit higher quality now. So it's just about right where, you, you know, anyways. So I really like this. This is a cool little edit I made earlier today. But um, I actually, so here, as far as what's going on with the Trello list lately, this has actually been a really cool technique. I'd like to share this because um, this might help other people out there too. First of all, um, I've always got this on when I'm on Trello. You can just filter your cards and then do an empty search. And... Um, Wait, oh shit. <laughs> I lost it. Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay. Anyways, it, with mine I had to do no labels. But anyways, this what that does is it just shows you how many cards are in each one of these things. So I simplified it down to just three lists now, soon and later. But here's the, the real uh, win as far as project management goes and personal productivity goes, you know, you've got to be able to rip through your list as fast as you can, especially if you're a solo game developer like me. Um, so I've got to get through all of my, uh, my bugs and all the features I want to implement, all the tweaks I want to make to the game. I've got to get through those as quickly as possible right now because this is crunch time. So I always had these lists of things to do and they were written in this cryptic sort of way that was difficult to read, difficult to understand at a glance, and it was quite often things that I, you know, like typed in on my phone, which means it's probably gonna have super tuper spelling errors all over it. And it's just in a state of mind where, you know, I didn't really, I wasn't able to convey the message behind what needed to be done quickly. So I found this amazing article um, about, dude, what was that? Um, let me see if I can find it really quick. Git commit message best practice. Was that it? Got me this search. Here it is. This is it. Chrisbeams.io. All right. This is an amazing post for anyone who has ever used a version control system like Git or Subversion, or CVS or whatever. This is an amazing, you gotta read this. This is like a must read. This will change your life as far as commit messages go. Why good commit messages matter? 
I didn't really, I never really under, like, it's really simple. It's really, really simple to give yourself great commit messages. This whole article will explain why it all makes sense, and I'll also explain why it makes sense for Songbringer so much. But <clears throat> this is the key. You just want to do summarize your changes in around 50 characters or less and write it in the imperative mood, basically. And don't use a period at the end. Um, the imperative mood is the key. And you can understand what that is. Um, it really simply, basically, here's the simple rule. A properly formed git commit subject line should always be able to complete the following sentence. If applied, this commit will your subject line here. This is it. If you add the, if you do this with any one of your commit messages, you'll write you'll start you'll instantly start writing good commit messages basically. And how that helped Songbringer was that basically doing that with all of my Trello items, rewording them into the imperative and keeping them short under 50 characters is a huge psychological advantage for my pro my personal productivity because I'm not looking at things and wondering what the hell I meant. You know, not looking at your list to do and being like, wait, what's that one again? And always before it had psychologically added this sort of block, like a roadblock, a speed bump. Um, and it caused me to not want to do those things or maybe put them further down on my list in, a, in an area where it shouldn't be. It's prioritized. It should be higher, you know, or whatever, truly. Um, so anyways, doing that is been a huge productivity boost for me lately. And so, um, but that all said, um, I know that refining the bosses is my highest priority right now, but today um, I've already done one of those bosses and I'd really like to get onto some quicker items. That's the thing. Some of these items are things that can be accomplished in less than 15 minutes. Some of these things are take an entire hour. So it's important to um, sometimes take the moment to do all of the quick things because it's it's another psychological boost to be like whoa look I just got 15 things done and so that's that's what I'm after today I really need to get that sort of that feeling that I can just kick a lot of ass at once so I'm gonna see how many of these cards I can get crossed off these easy ones um, in today's video so Let's begin. I'm going to stop talking and just start tackling these somewhat easy items. This one is to make the meditation heal take a second to kick in and be a little bit slower. Because when I played it last time, I like this new meditation heal thing. It kind of goes with the whole um, theme of Songbringer, meditation, and courage, and all that. Uh, however, there's one little problem with it right now in that it heals you way too much. So it's such a cheat thing. You can easily just reheal wherever wherever you are. If you just sit down and meditate, you instantly heal within like, or not instantly, but you know, heal within 30 seconds or something crazy, just crazy fast. All your health comes back. So it takes away a lot of the challenge of the game. So I'd like to keep the healing in, but just make it twice to four times as slow, something like that. It's in health system. Okay, as far as the rate goes, all I gotta do is multiply this by, you know, two to four. Let's get in a state of the game where we are in need of health. So let's go to, that's the same place as fighting the acid boss there, the room below. And we're gonna set the hit points something really low. Like, do we need to actually be all the way low? No. So it'll be, it'll be at like eight. That's two, two teeth worth of courage. And this is existing code at four. We'll sit down and meditate without making any changes to the game first. Turn off all this debug stuff. 
Okay, besides this dialogue, dang, like it's told me. There we go. Like it was so much more fast. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm sitting there watching it actively. I'm just going to double that to start with. And now it needs to take a second to kick in. Hmm, how can I get it to, what system do I need to use to set a time for when we start meditating? Okay, another little productivity thing I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to set a timer for 15 minutes. Sometimes just setting a quick little timer tells me, I don't know, it helps me to subconsciously focus for those entire 15 minutes and on actually solving the problem at hand. Sometimes a problem can get out of hand and take way longer than it needs to because, I don't know, you, it, there's, no, it, there's no urgency to it all and right now there's a lot of urgency so I've got to use this technique <clears throat> all right so I got a 15 minute timer going I think I can get this finished and definitely in under 15 minutes it should be really simple I could just set a recharge duration Change HP1, he had zero. Okay, this is actually really similar. Where was, um... Aha, okay. It's exactly the same code, except for this doesn't ping the HUD. The ping hide should go within this.
Okay, so I'm going to quickly try as fast as I can to use a recharge accumulator and recharge duration instead of doing it this manual way, with meditation healing that way. That was based on, oh, it was based on beats per minute as well. No wonder, it really was faster in some dungeons. Oh, that totally explains why. All right, let's see if this can work. Basically, if I use meditate, I can initiate a recharge duration on rock, which he's not normally gonna have. He never really has like a recharge or whatever. This is always whenever you're sitting. So we'll have to wait a while after you sit and then a little bit more. Okay. Okay, let's just set it to something crazy fast at first. And then, oh, we need to do all this in a timer, basically. Oh, you have no E in here? So this needs to be after sit duration plus one, two, maybe three seconds for it to kick in. Okay, and then so it. Basically, we need to stop healing no matter what, whenever we get up. I think that's called use wake. Sitting, clear bits, not standing. Reset mass, collision mass. Reset, health recharge. See if that worked. How many minutes do we have left? Eight minutes left. All right, so I'm low on health. I'm not recharging or anything right now. 
I can meditate. Skip the dialogue. Yeah. Okay, let's make that a lot slower. It's gonna be based on your health. We do one every, okay, what was the old code? The old code was, oh, it's really hard to tell, but these are probably, this is roughly about 1.0. Most of my songs are 60 to 90 BPM, more like 70 to 90, really depends. So it's point, maybe like 0 0.8 times 8 times ticks per second. Okay, then, all right. That's 6.4 seconds or so. So we're gonna do h dot health dot max hp over wait no. Yeah, wait, it takes six seconds. How long do we want this all to take? Well six seconds per so it's max times six point two. And we'll do a const double. Duration per hit point. There, so whatever your max hit points is times your duration per hit point. So I should be able to use it, sit down, start healing after a moment, heals really nice and slow, and if I get up, it should stop. Alright, so we're low on health, we're not healing. Okay, I must have really got that estimate wrong on the six seconds. But at least it's healing nice and slowly. So we get the courage to change a little bit before I get up. Okay, so we get up and it shouldn't heal me anymore. Sweet, it works. Cool, let's let go of this old code. It's kind of a bad way to do the meditate heal anyway. This is much better. Okay, so duration per hit point. Try that. A little less than four seconds. And it might need to take away that initial bit too. Initial delay. Not, I'm not sure if it's it's hitting right at the end of that recharge duration. So I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna keep it about there. Cause I don't want this to be so fast that you can, you can get the, you can get healed too quickly, right? This is kind of like a real last resort type thing where you, you maybe wanna like go away from the screen for a minute, come back. 
but oh, it does auto pause though. Let's see how much healing that we can get before it auto pauses. And that should hopefully discourage that technique a little bit, you know, if you're just like using this to, using it as a crutch too much, I don't know, maybe it should be a little slower then. Works really nicely though. Can't get distracted. Can't get distracted. Okay, so 3.82. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna go a little slower. Let's try it at least. What's um 6.18 plus 3.82? Oh no way. Sweet, so their their blend at fifty percent is exactly five point oh. That's crazy. Love the fly ratio. Yeah, I guess it should have that initial delay as well. This is good. All right, sit down. Okay, I think that should make the game a bit more fair. I like that. Let's review this code and check it in. Oh, get rid of that little blue bloop I just did there. Cool, so I got rid of doing... Oh, and the timer goes off right as I'm checking in, yay. Okay, great. Oh, healing also pings the HUD, or any kind of damage or Healing of the player pings the head automatically. That's good. Recharge courage while meditating. Right, this is much simpler code. This is really easy to see all the duration for HP now. And reset that help recharge. Cool. This is good. One thing I should check. Anything that calls input sitting. This is where you set sitting. Yeah, there's only one input not standing. I think there's only one place that actually clears the input, and it's here where I just reset the recharge. I don't think there's, that's where it just checks it. It just checks it. We're cool. Okay, so and then it's really great about you know this whole new system or whatever. So I can just copy my my Trello item titles now, and they make, they're already perfect git commit messages. It helps, also helps me keep my commits atomic. All right, anyways, archived. There's one done. 15 minutes really is only all it took. This one's gonna be way quicker. Add three to items created Z order offset. Super easy. I'm gonna set a timer anyways.
when items are created. Let's go somewhere that an item can get created. Yeah, this is actually a great area. I get these guys. Yeah. Oh, that one guy. That one's fine. Well, no matter. It's a really easy, easy thing. When an item is created, I just want the offset Y. No, not the offset Y, the... The Z order offset. There's no Z order offset here at all. Oh, it's just one. That needs to be like at least four. There's really no need to check my work here. I know this is gonna help. I mean, there's no need to perfectly get this situation to happen in the game. I'm pretty sure this is gonna help that out a lot so but if I did get it to work just right I would have to kill one of these guys I'm not going to spend the time to get that situation to be perfect. I'm just going to check that in. Oops. All right. Okay, the right side of zero's ship too can be can block the entire path in the world link. I'm gonna restart my timer. That only took three minutes. Alright. World link. This was up at um, maybe th three seven zero. Oh, yeah, there's a store there. Yeah, here it is. Right. Oh no, wait. It was. Oh, because I was in Gamma. Oh yeah, this is exactly the right area to be on. Come over here, and you know, these this path is totally blocked by these trees, which is a pretty easy fix. Let's save here. Go to area patterns. There's a pattern for zero ship two, but one and two will probably need this. Wait, did one? How did one avoid this problem? Okay, I'm going to confirm which bit of code it is first. That's, that says lower left, and that says right one. Bushes in lower right, this is probably it. Let's confirm that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. It's better. Oh, there's, there's something else there. It's like this water and that. Okay, let's just do a blanket fix. Hmm, am I fixing this the right way? I've got eight minutes left. Am I actually doing this the right way that will actually work long term? <sighs> Probably. I guess so. It just worked then.
let's check out some more worlds make sure this is actually working and then I can apply this technique to to the other area if need be. All right, so that's that's looking okay. Let's make sure Xanadu is still good. I think Xanadu is 15 or so. Yeah, so somehow that works. Like, the path is all good here. Oh, because it's so low. Oh man, I think we do need to add this. X is less than This one's still okay because there was no path over there. So that kind of is a nice thing to have these bushes here. That's why they were put there in the first place. Okay, let's check some more of the word worlds while we have saw some remaining time. Let's get back to link just to double check that now with the latest code. Really all we're checking here is that left area. Make sure that path is actually a dead end. Cool, we've got a path coming this way, this way. What's that? It's a weird area. This whole bit is no path there anyways. Okay, good. Let's go to seed Zelda. Zelda. Let me note that on this other Trello item. And this one's fixed too. But there it is. Zelda five seven.
another one done. All right, cool. We're, good. We're in good progress so far. Oh, this is an easy one too. Just a big tree, no collision on the left. I think I was playing, where was I playing where this actually blocked? I think it was actually still Link. And it was, where the hell was it? Link. I don't know, where if I find a big tree? Oh wait, I could just use one of these patterns. Probably a faster way to do this. All right, let's set the timer. Cool, I had two minutes left on that last one. Start again. All right, fastest way to get this. Oops. Instead of running around the whole overworld, it's just to do the map. Look up which um which one it is. Looking for a pattern big tree, I think. Yeah, pattern big tree. Oh. Oh. No, this isn't gonna be how to find it. We actually need X code for this one. Just set a breakpoint in the pattern. It's actually the fastest way, because this is just a special pattern. Let's do this. O two O eleven two O. Four three zero. There's a lot of these. Fourteen five. Seven seven. I don't know. There's maybe too many of these big trees. This one's not a great example, but it kind of is. See, this, you really should be able to walk over this whole section right there. This part kind of makes sense that you can't walk on it, but that doesn't either. I'm just gonna open it up here in this one, even though I usually get my data in the other window. Go to big tree. No, it's not there. What? Create misc tile. Where is the big tree? Um. This is manual. It's not data. <laughs> oh, I almost want to convert this to data right now, should I? How much time do I have left? 11 minutes. Can I convert this all to data reliably, test it, and commit it in the next 11 minutes? I think I can. Leaves are conditional. It's 
It's no problem. Okay, I got this. It's just image. The style is zero, so this is mother tree zero zero to ping. White zero flipped. Okay, so it's flip x if ran three, ran one is less than zero point five. Doesn't matter. We do the leaves in the code anyways. Got all this stuff. We'll do a darker color in the code as well. Z order offset negative 30. Z order mid minus 30. I'll make my adjustment here later. Branches are done in the code. Collision areas, children. Extra collision. Collision, category static, mask none, size 56, 2010. That's four of these. Oh, and they're all positioned too. Damn it. Okay. Position, negative 5, 20. Oh, these are exact based on if you're flipped. Well, two of them I don't want anyways. What am I doing this? The one on the left and the one on the right. Whatever. Let's just do 45, 24. And then twelve ten. And twenty eight thirty two. This is fifty four nine ten. That one's ten ten ten. All right, well, it's okay. Let's see if this works out. <clears throat> All 
Okay, we'll start there and we'll add the customizations. How long did that take to write? Whew, cost a lot. Eight minutes. All right. To do the leaves and also color. All these had to be flipped. I think I'll do two of these. One will just be the flip version. Oh, damn it. Obviously, that was. Flip X one. Might do this one. Yeah, get rid of that. There's another thing there is totally unnecessary. Ah, there we go. Got this one little jut there. Actually, the box came down a little bit. A little taller. Let's do that again. I need to get rid of this one. Push that up a couple pixels and we're good. Simple. Now we've got a version for both that and the flip version.
Damn. First one I didn't make in time. All right, so what I've been doing if I don't make it in time is I uh, set another timer for 15 minutes immediately. Because if I don't set another timer, I'll forget, and then 45 minutes will go by. Okay, so that's the mother tree type. There's always zero. Oh, the flip looks different. Oh, uh, that's the... It's just the least. All right, this is... Oh. What? Oh. Oh. Should be it. Now we're mostly data driven. Except for these branches. I guess I could do those as entities too. There's no position difference, all right. Two big tree leaves. Oh, it's just the order high. Oh, also the color. Hey, Bob's your uncle.
This one looks good. Wasn't tall enough on the screen to create leaves. Let's go look at the other ones. Ooh, this is a weird place. There's a really, there's a one opening right here. Cool. No more there on a river. Let's make sure those other ones are still there. Okay, so this is an example of one of them in a dark area. Cool. Glad to see it's a dark tree. Oh, this is the one that blocked my path when I was playing. That's right. Oh, and the Z order needs to be digested too. So, Z oh, is it? Wait. That Z order looks okay. That one does it right there, though. Okay, so it needs to be a little bit higher. did.
see if we can find one with some leaves on it though. Just to make sure. And let's do a quick code review. We got all these new data entities created via data instead of the code. That was it for this world. I guess none of them had leaves. Uh, I'm just gonna force some. Try that the other way and see if it looks more right. I never really like these leaves, anyways. I really gotta redraw this. Some more depth. I guess that's the right way if it's. check we added three entities a big tree a big tree flipped and the big tree leaves got those z orders corrected up and now the entities are created via data so that took me two 15 minute flows because i refactored this i don't know maybe it wasn't the right decision to refactor this right now might not have been that important to cost the whole 15 minutes but oh well Alright, oh, I also improved the big tree pattern so it doesn't place the big tree if there's a river, which was happening in a few different places, I remember, from playthroughs. That's good. Okay. What was this one? Okay. Let's see if we can get a couple more done, huh? Huh? How long have we been? An hour fifteen? We've got like four or five things done. Four things? It's probably four things because it took two. Okay. What's next? Fix the black edge of the ground texture issue. This one's gonna take for a long time. This is gonna be fast. This is gonna be fast. This is gonna be fast. 
Okay, make red things on the map green. That's super easy. This is probably best in a dungeon. Pretty much just do this draw a map. Okay, these points of interest. Oh, green's there. Points of interest. Letters and numbers. These are blue. Let's leave those. Hmm. It's that hue, all right? It's pretty bright. If we go like this, make this hue green. So the logic here is basically that red is like stop, that's like where you're at, green is like go, that's like where you want to go. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, if we start on the map, animate the cursor. Let's reset the counter. Oh, I forgot to start it. Oh. Okay, we're starting it now. All right, so if you use the teleporter, it will bring up the map right away, and it needs to animate the current map position. So that's gonna be in, oops, in interfaces. Okay, there's something where it knows. Knows using the flux string. If what? Oh, it's just flux get string. Yeah, here it is. Do focus map. So if I, I can just kind of like fake it if I do f dot selection equals zero, right? Now I'll go in here and I'll say select old selection equals zero, and then selection equals whatever, and then that should be come down into here, and it, it'll be yeah to gear. And then, and then the cursor is not null, so it, and it is a new section. Let's see if that works. Yeah, so it's doing the big animation where I go back and forth between the sections. And if I use the teleporter... Should be getting this. Okay. 
but probably not. So that's where we need the break point. Setting the selection to zero. Now we're setting the selection to twenty five. Okay, we get down to here. This is a new section. True. Oh, it's, so it's doing it. Oh, I guess it just does it again later. All right, so how are you getting overridden later? You know what, I guess what's happening is the cursor is somehow getting all of its actions stopped by something else. This could be like impossible to find right now because you never know when like a parent stops the action of a child. It's really not that easy to take, keep track of. Wait, what was that? Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. Stop all actions, maybe. Nah, I don't know. This isn't worth um worth any more time right now. Alright. 
move this into soon so I can just do soon. Okay, well, well, that's about all I can do for one video. Um, but what did I get done? I only got three things done. It can't be right. I guess I, I didn't really get that one done, but one, two, three, four, five. I got five things done. That's pretty good. You know, most of those were 15 minute segments, which is pretty swift. You get in here and just like freaking rock out five different Trello items is awesome. So, what will I do the rest of the day? I'm not, I'm not sure. I might actually go on and do some other fast things, or I may go and start working on some bosses or something. <sighs> but for now, I gotta eat some dinner. So thanks for watching this video. Um, and once again, apologies, I'm not able to do as many videos right now while it's kind of the crunch time for Songbringer, but um, I will try to do at least a few of these offline style non-streaming videos because they're a little bit easier to do. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you soon.